My name is Jasmine. I live in Jacksonville, Florida, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 26. I was initially misdiagnosed with breast cancer when I was 25. I had some nipple discharge, a very painful left breast, um, but I passed my mammogram and ultrasound. It took about six months for me to get to a different physician who ultimately did a breast MRI, and that's how they discovered that I had breast cancer. I never felt a lump. I was hormone receptive, estrogen and progesterone positive. I did have genetic testing done after my diagnosis for one, because I was still young and two, because my grandmother had been diagnosed twice at this time. She was actually diagnosed a third time back in 2019 and several of her sisters had had breast cancer as well, but I did not come up positive for any genetic mutations. So I'm doing the breast cancer index test to determine whether or not I would benefit from additional time on hormone therapy. The idea to do the breast cancer index test was my idea. Coming to diagnosis was difficult and it taught me self the importance of self-advocacy. So when I was not offered any genetic testing, when it was time for me to determine whether or not I would do chemo, I fell into a gray area. We took a roll of the dice and said, let's not do it. When I learned that there were some tests that I could use to decide whether or not I would benefit from additional treatment, I figured that would be the best route. I didn't want to roll the dice again. I wish I would have known that there were tests that could help us be more precise in my treatment, especially falling into a gray area with chemo, knowing that there are tests that can determine whether or not you would benefit um, from chemotherapy, to know there are tests to determine whether or not you would benefit from um, or your likelihood of recurrence, all of those things I think are very important, especially when you're young. All you can do is make the best decision that you can with the information that you have in the moment.